What's importance of material selection in corrosion protection? If you choose the correct material for your product from the beginning, you can prevent the damage deriving from corrosion, wear and mechanical impact. In many cases, you may completely avoid corrosion by choosing a resistant material for its actual application environment. Solutions for corrosion resistance are available in the form of coatings. But for long-term investment in corrosion resistance, material selection is the number one prevention tool. Corrosion prevention material selection, the importance to all industries. Selecting the correct material to withstand destructive acids, oxygen and waters is the key to avoiding disasters. This is not only a consideration for economic factors, but industries must prevent disasters on the huge scale that include loss of life, such as the incidents happens in the Mexico Seaver explosion. This explosion resulted in the death of 215 people with 1,500 injured and damage to 1,600 buildings within the surrounding area. Coating Material Selection in Saudi Aramco 7.1 Exterior Surfaces Atmospheric Exposures A. Mild Atmospheric Exposures for Tank, Vessels, Non-Galvanized Structural Steel, Equipment such as Heat Exchangers, Rotating Equipment, Walls, etc. Coating System New Construction we can use APCS4, APCS5A, 5 5B, 6, 1B, 1E, 22A, 22B, 26, 2060. For maintenance application, we can use APCS4, 6, 1B, 1E, 22, 26, 2060 and APCS7. While coating mild atmospheric exposure, we need to consider some of the points. Point number 1. When necessary, APCS 5A or 5B should be specified on facility storing or transporting hydrocarbon and other fluids. Use APCS 4 on steel operating up to 80 degrees Celsius when an aluminum finish is required such as GOSP traps and water tank. Point number 3. Use APCS 6 on steel operating up to 70 degrees Celsius when a finish color other than aluminum is required. Point number 4. Use APCS 1B on steel operating between the upper limit for APCS 4 and APCS 6 up to 150 degree dry heat. Point number 5. Use APCS 22A or 22B on steel operating up to 150 degree Celsius dry heat that is located outdoors and that will be coated in the field when surface will be damp during application. Point number 6. APCS 1B on top wind girders. The top shell goes above these girders, skirts and the center deck of floating roof. Point number 7. APCS 7 can be used to maintain APCS 4 or APCS 6. On areas of bare, slightly rusted steel where abrasive blast cleaning is not allowed or possible. Point number 8. Use APCS 1B on the inside surface of top shell cores in external floating roof tank. Point number 9. The vapor space areas of internal floating roof tank shall be coated with a full system of either APCS 2A, APCS 2E, APCS 2H or APCS 2I. Point number 10. Coating is not required on the roof underside of both internal external floating roof tank b corrosive industrial atmospheric exposure tank vessels non galvanized structural steel equipment such as heat exchangers rotating equipment etc coating system for new construction apcs 1a 1b 1d 1e 5a 22a and apcs 22b for maintenance coating APCS 1B, 1C, 1E, 1F, 5A, 22B, 26 and APCS 2060. While considering these coating system, we need to remember these remarks. Point number 1. Use APCS 1A on steel in wetted and or corrosive industrial environment operating at temperature up to 150 degrees Celsius and located indoors or outdoors. Point number 2. Use APCS 1B on steel in direct contact with the splashed 
and or spilled chemical example tanks and vessels in chemical services a operating at temperature up to 150 degrees celsius and located indoors or outdoors b to maintain system apcs 1a and apcs 1b point number 3 Use APCS 1C for maintenance painting steel in wetted and or corrosive industrial environments. A. Operating at temperature up to 150 degrees Celsius and located indoors or outdoors. B. To maintain system APCS 1A and APCS 1B. Point number 4. Use APCS 1D on steel in wetted and or corrosive industrial environment operating up to 80 degrees Celsius and located outdoors. Point number 5. Use APCS 1E on steel in direct contact with splash and spilled chemical example tanks and vessels in chemical services a operating up to 80 degrees celsius and located outdoors b to maintain system apcs 1d and apcs 1e point number 6 use apcs 1f for maintenance painting steel in wetted and or corrosive industrial environment a operating at temperature up to 80 degrees celsius and located indoors or outdoors b to maintain system apcs 1d and apcs 1e point number 7 use apcs 22a or 22b on steel operating up to 150 degrees celsius that is located outdoors and that will be coated in the field when surface will be damp during application point number 8 when necessary apcs 5a or apcs 5b should be specified on facility storing or transporting hydrocarbon and other fluid apc 6 can be used on steel operating up to 150 degrees celsius to maintain system apc 1a 1b and 1c when abrasive blasting is not required point number 10 apc 2060 can be used on steel operating up to 80 degrees celsius to maintain system apc 1d 1e and apcs 1f when abrasive blasting is not required it can also be used as a new coating system on shore but not off shore point number 11 use apcs 1b on the inside surface of top shell cores in floating roof tank if corrosion protection is needed point number 12 the vapor space areas of internal floating roof tank shall be coated with full system of either APCS 2A, 2E, 2H or 2I. Point number 13. Coating is not required on the roof underside of both internal external floating roof tank. C. Insulated tanks and vessels, heat exchangers, valves and piping. For new construction, we can use 2A, 2C, 2I and 11C. The same coating system can be used for maintenance application. While coating insulated tanks and vessels, heat exchangers, valves and piping, we need to consider these points. Point number 1. Use either immersion coating, 3 coats APCS 2A, 2C or a single coat of APCS 2I on carbon steel operating from Minus 10 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. Point number two: Coating in mandatory under insulated stainless steel as per paragraph 7.2.5 SAS L133. APCS 11C air drying modified silicone coating shall be specified for service temperature up to 650 degrees Celsius. Point number three: Handling precautions and impact abrasion protection shall be taken. during transportation and construction of coated equipments or piping it is recommended to apply this coating type in the field site point number 4 apcs 2i shall be specified for stainless steel up to 150 degrees celsius the cured coating shall not contain low melting metals or zinc and any leachable chlorides and halides point number 5 use apcs 2a 2c 2i and APCS 11C on carbon steel or stainless steel operating at cold cryogenic temperature below minus 10 degrees celsius d elevated temperature uninsulated for tanks vessels boilers stacks heaters heat exchangers reactors and stack
for new constructions and maintenance coating we can use APCS 11A, 11B and 11C. While coating these type of painting material we need to consider these points. Point number 1. Use APCS 11A on steel operating between 150 degrees Celsius and 400 degrees Celsius. A. Use the solvent based primer when the relative humidity will be above 50 percentage during coating application. B. Use the water based primer when the relative humidity will be below 50 percentage during coating application. Point number 2. Use APCS 111B on steel operating between 400 degrees Celsius and 540 degrees Celsius. Point number 3. APCS 11C can be used up to 650 degrees Celsius which require less cleaning and surface preparation than APCS 11A. Point number 4. Temperature indicating paint could be used as a top coat over conventional APCS coating on hydrogen reactors, refractory lined heaters and stocks. Coating under fireproofing E For maintenance coating and new construction we can use APCS 1B. While considering this coating we need to remind on these points. Point number 1 up to 120 degrees Celsius carbon steel use APCS 1B primer only prior to installation of intumescent type fireproofing material and the complete system of APCS 1B before the installation of cementitious fireproofing. The intermediate and top coat of APCS 1B system are used over both fireproofing systems. Point number 2 For galvanized steel up to 120 degrees Celsius C blast to upgrade the surface prior to application of APCS 1B primer. F. Auxiliary equipment. Engineered equipment that is cranes, loungers, receivers, skid mounted items, etc. Point number 1. Engineered equipment are items specially designed and fabricated for Saudi Aramco and shall be coated with Saudi Aramco approved systems. Point number 2. Coat engineered equipment using the coating systems and selection criteria given in paragraph 7.1.a or 7.1.b as appropriate. Point number 3. External coating of chemical skid, structural steel, piping, tanks, vessels shall be APCS 1D and APCS 1E. Auxiliary equipment 2. Off the shelf equipment that is valve, pumps, actuators etc. For new construction, we can use APCS 26, 2060, 1F, APCS 6, 1A, 1B, 1D, and APCS 1E. For maintenance coating, we can use APCS 26 and APCS 2060. While coating this type of material, we need to consider these points. Point number 1. A detailed description of the manufacturer standards. Coating system shall be submitted to RUS for review and approval. No additional coating is required when the manufacturer standard finish meet the following condition. A. Coating is suitable for the intended use of the item. B. The coating can be maintained coated with standard Saudi Aramco approved coatings. Point number 2. APCS 26 over the equipment manufacturer standard finish. When that finish is not suitable for the intended use of the equipment and it's operated up to 120 degree Celsius located indoors or outdoors. Point number 3. Use APCS 2060 over the equipment manufacturer standard finish when that finish is not suitable for the intended use of the equipment and it's operated up to 80 degree Celsius located outdoors. For transformers and radiators. To be coated as per the guidelines of NACE RP 0297-2004 G. Fasteners, carbon steels and low alloys Use fluoropolymer coating which is applied in accordance with 09 SAMS 107 for onshore and offshore. Galvanizing can be used onshore. H. Galvanized steel New construction Galvanized steel We will use ABCS 26, 2060, 1B, 1E 
APCS 22A and APCS 22B. For maintenance coating, we use APCS 26, 2060, APCS 22, APCS 1C, 1B and APCS 1E. This type of material, while using this type of material, we need to consider these points. Not normally coated for mild environment, but it requires coating for reasons of appearance or increased chemical and corrosion resistances, corrosive and humidarians. Point number 2. Clean as per SSPC SP1 and lightly abrade the galvanized surface using hand or power tool. Point number 3. Use APCS 26 on galvanized steel operating up to 120 degrees Celsius and located indoors or outdoors. Point number 4. Use APCS 2060 on galvanized steel operating up to 80 degrees Celsius located outdoors. Point number 5. Use APCS 22A or APCS 22B on galvanized steel operating up to 150 degrees Celsius that is located outdoors and that will be coated in the field when the surface will be damp during application. Point number 6. Use APCS 1C primer only to touch up and repair galvanizing that will not be coated with another system. Point number 7. Use APCS 1B primer if it is with fireproofing coating system. I. Stainless steel. APCS 11C and APCS 1B will be used for new construction and maintenance coating. While coating these systems, we need to consider two points. Point number one requires coating when located offshore to prevent chloride stress corrosion. For temperature up to 150 degrees Celsius, APCS 1B shall be used. For temperatures above 150 degrees Celsius, APCS 11C shall be used. Point number two care should be taken when handling equipment coated with APCS 11C. J. Aluminium. For new construction, APCS 26C, 2060, and APCS 22A and 22B can be used. For maintenance coating, APCS 26, APCS 2060, and APCS 22 can be used. While using these coating systems, we need to consider following points. Point number one, not normally coated for dry environment, but it requires coating for reasons of appearance or increased chemical and corrosion resistance at humid areas. Point number two, lightly abrade the aluminum surface using hand or power tool prior to coating application. Point number three, use APCS 26 on aluminum operating up to 120 degrees Celsius and located indoors or outdoors. Point number four, use APCS 2060 on aluminum operating up to 80 degrees Celsius and located outdoors. Point number five, use APCS 22A or 22B on aluminium located outdoors and operating up to 150 degrees Celsius and that will be coated in the field when surface will be damp during application. K. Steel accessories, handrails, stairways, ladders, brackets, etc. Point number one. Hot dip galvanized or coated using the coating systems and selection criteria given in the paragraph 7.1.A or 1.B as appropriate. L. Steel floors. APCS 12 can be used for new construction and maintenance coating. M. Steel grating. Point number one. Shall be hot dip galvanized in accordance with ASTM A123 and A385. Liquid applied coating shall not be used in lieu of galvanizing. Electrical conduit. See Saudi Aramco Engineering Standard SAS P104. Electrical motors, APCS 1B and 1C can be used for new construction and maintenance coating. The coating shall be applied at the lower DFT range. 7.2 Exterior surfaces buried A. Structural steel New construction and maintenance coating We can use APCS 3 and APCS 113A